Alrighty then, hey this is Wentus yet again and I'm going to be continuing my let's play of Persona 3 FES. Last time we went to Yakushima and we picked up a new party member, I guess. Yes these are our lodging quarters. And yeah she's far from passing as human although it seemed to fool us somewhat earlier. Mm -hmm. Maybe, just maybe, we'll see though. Either way though, tonight we are going to be heading out for the evening. It is Thursday, so we're going to be spending time with one of our nighttime social links. I believe that's pretty much all we're going to be doing this episode. I think there's going to be like, maybe two daytime social links, but we have something coming up very soon that, well, you'll see. Now, okay yeah, Thursday, we're going to be spending today with Mutatsu. Yes, he is here. I was kind of holding my breath for a second there, like, uh, it was Thursdays that we can spend time with Mutatsu, right? But yeah, we're all set. Also, I did make sure we do have all of the personas we need, and, oh, actually, I rank up this time. Hmm. Yeah, I can kind of tell. I think I hear a dog barking outside. Uh, yeah, I've got like 90-something thousand yen in my pocket right now. Then again, I want to say that's like... I don't know how much it is. Is that like $900 or something like that? So yeah, for a kid, I think that's pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, I'd say I have enough. Yeah. Well, I do put in a lot of work in, uh place that's basically a giant hellhole where I steal money from. Define illegal. No wait, we are supported by the police. What we are doing is completely legal, right? That's how it works. Mm, yeah, there's always something you need to want. Bitter smile. Well, you should always want. Yes, that's the point of it. You have to have the right mindset when you want something. Mm. It doesn't necessarily have to be something materialistic. Well, I guess it depends, depends on your definition of materialistic. Point is, wanting things does lead you to ambition and gives you drive. That's kind of important for life. Yep. Well, that's why you find a way to make the work you do enjoyable. That's my goal, at least, is find work that I truly love doing and can make money off of. Lifetime income, hmm. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, uh, you don't always have to try to become, like, incredibly wealthy. Although, if you truly know a way that you can, that doesn't mean you shouldn't. Definitely not as black and white as many people think the world is. And Mutatsu thinks, seems to think it's actually pretty black and white as well. But in a different way from how most people view things. He certainly has a... Pessimistic, but at the same time quite wise look outlook on the world. Okay, yeah, that's definitely... I think that's my dog whining outside. I'm gonna have to step away for a second because it's winter and I don't want her to freeze to death. Sorry about that, just wanted to make sure she was alright. But yeah, um, interesting thing. My dog, Nanako. I actually got her around the time I started this series. And actually she's a nearly fully grown dog now. So yeah, she's pretty much grown up over the course of this series. At the same time, though, that money you spent helped you to survive. What was that noise? It sounded like a crashing sound. But it didn't sound like it was coming from my house, so I'm not going to worry about it. Well, let's go ahead back for tonight. Yeah, uh, we are not tired, so we may as well study. Plus, I... 
don't think... Yeah, we definitely don't need to go to Tartarus anytime soon. And I'm kind of wishing I had waited on doing our Tartarus excursions because we're done in Tartarus entirely now, and that means we're not going to be showing off Aegis' battle abilities for a long time, which is really a shame. You see, she's actually my favorite party member, especially in Tartarus. She has so much power there. But... Good morning. Uh... Hi, I guess I was just talking about you in my sleep. Please wake up. Mission accomplished. Uh, why are you here? My highest priority is to be by your side. I thought you meant figuratively, not literally. Hey. Are you awake? That girl disappeared, and we can't find her anywhere. Think you can help us out? Uh, I don't know what girl you're talking about, but I guess is here and she can probably help. She might have gone out on her own, like she did in Yakushima. I am not a girl. I am Igis, and I am here. Huh? How did she even get in here? Igis! How did you... He was asleep, so I unlocked the door. Well, kind of you not to wake me, but also creepy of you to just kind of sneak into my room. How long were you in here? That's unlawful entry. Didn't we tell you to stay in the command room at night? It seems kind of harsh. I mean, the command room would be cold and lonely, and there's not even a place to sleep. But then again, does she sleep? Does she rest in any way? Hmm. I propose to be on standby in this room from now on. Is this acceptable? What? No, it's not acceptable. If there is a problem, then I will address it promptly. Uh, the problem is, it's against dorm regulations. Well, technically she's not human, so it's essentially just having a computer in my room. Well, don't just sit there. Tell her. Uh, I'm actually kind of torn. I know Igis won't be upset, or at least not particularly upset either way, but Yukari might be, so sorry, you can't stay here. See? He agrees. I will do as told. Sorry, Igis. <sighs> Alright, I'll have a room prepared for you on the third floor. You can stay there. That's nicer, at least. Oh, and don't leave the dorm by yourself, okay? I will do as commanded. I'm tired. I have practice this morning, so I gotta go. Good luck. Everyone goes to a place called school in the morning. I comprehend. <laughs> well, that was confusing. By the way, I actually did ask a question that I realized after asking it, I know the answer to the question. Yeah, exam results are being posted today, so we better head to school. But, um... Yeah, I had the answer to the question, and that question was... Does Igis sleep? I don't know if she sleeps every night, but she does have a sleep mode. That I specifically know from Persona Q, where there's actually another status type there called sleep, that when she gets inflicted by it, she actually does comment saying, Sleep mode activating, or something along those lines. Um, frankly, assuming there will be peace is a bit presumptuous. Hmm. We'll know. Hmm. Let's see how we did on exams, then. I know we got all the question parts right, but as far as... Uh, how our academics was, I don't think it was good enough to get top score in the class. Because if you remember, er very early on, Mitsuru said, if you get top score in the class, then... Top 10, not quite top, but pointless charm nonetheless. But yeah, if we get the very top score, then we get a gift from Mitsuru. I can't remember what the gift is off the top of my head, though, and I don't have it written down. So maybe I'll look that up whenever we do earn it, because I'm pretty sure... Before the last exam, we will get the final. We will get the best score on the final exam. 
So let's see. Today is the 24th, so I believe today we will be spending with Kenji. We haven't spent time with you in a long time, and we've actually learned some kind of bad news since then. Maybe we can bring it up with him. Assuming that he doesn't just talk constantly like he usually does. Then again, being upset with that would be hypocritical, considering how much I talk constantly. I mean, I'm running a video series where all I do is talk constantly over a video game. Ugh. Soggy duck fries. That sounds immensely disgusting. Hmm. Why is that? It's tempting to eat his food. I'm not gonna not deny that, but what's wrong, man? I... A cold living magazine? Oh god, that would be terrifying. Oh man, I... I wonder if there is an occult living magazine. You know what? Before I answer that, I'm going to Google that real quick. Nope, no occult living magazine that comes up. However, there is an occult living group on Facebook. Hmm. Interesting. And I do know about a subreddit called Re Subreddit Occult. Weird stuff there, but very fascinating to read. No, the answer is Bright to Be a Magazine. Oh, about that. Um. There's no option. She's messing with you, she's cheating on you, blah blah blah. None of those are the option. The correct answer is, that's great. Congrats. I feel like a dick saying that, knowing that... Okay. One of our teachers is, uh, Maya. And they have a crush on us. That is pretty much con confirmed now. She knows someone that is, well, rather a bitch and apparently stuffs her bra, and is dating a student while also dating someone else. I'm pretty sure they're referring to Kenji. It, I don't know, I'm just gonna assume that Minato is completely clueless, or maybe he just actually really doesn't like Kenji. He's like, you know what, I'm just gonna let this play out. I'm gonna just watch. And I suppose it would teach him a lesson to be more careful, but at the same time, would it really teach him any better than just telling him? I don't know. I feel sorry for Kenji. He's a nice kid, but a little bit oblivious. That's a good word for it, oblivious. I feel like a terrible person. Uh, sorry, Kenji, but the game doesn't give me options to tell you and warn you. And then again, if we hadn't actually started the Maya Social Link, we wouldn't know. Then again, I thought this was a terrible idea from the start, but still. <sighs> By the way, something I should mention, tomorrow in-game is actually going to be a very special day. Very special. Hmm. At the very least, this has convinced him to take his life more seriously. God knows I need to do that. Hi, how was your day? It was quite good, thank you. Uh, not bad. I did not see her score, but I imagine it would be quite good. Yes, two weeks till the next full moon. Yeah, the loss is a bit more of a polite term to use, Junpei. Exactly. Six shadows remain. That's really weird to think about. And then again, if it weren't for that massive break that I had to take after um, I went to California, I probably... I don't know, if I had managed to maintain daily uploads while I, during when I went to California and for the time after that while I was moving, I probably could be nearly finished with this game by now. Yeah, that's an idea of how long this game is. I essentially have missed out on three weeks of time, and 
No, actually, I don't think I would be even about to finish this. I'd be clo a lot closer, but... Yeah, sure, Junpei. But, um... Yeah, I'd probably be a lot closer, but not that close. Yeah, this, this game's gonna be going on for a while. Right now, I'm thinking my goal for it, since I believe we're coming up on, like, episode 40 now, is... I want to set a goal of finishing this game by the time the new year rolls around. So, yeah, it's almost mid-November now, so that gives me a little over six weeks to finish. If I were to upload daily, I'm pretty sure I could pull that off. Either way, tonight is Friday, so we're going to be spending time with Mutatsu yet again. Hmm, is he here? Yes, he is. Good. Now, I think we're just spending time with him. I'm not absolutely certain, though. But, because we never use a matching persona, yeah, we're just spending time. Nothing to worry about here. <sighs> but yeah, I would like to have this series finished by the end of the year, because I actually have a bit of a confession to make. And I think I actually brought this up in my previous series, and sorry, I'm busy, Kaz. Um... I actually have a point... Actually, I don't think I brought it up in the previous series. My previous attempt at this game, rather. I have what I like to refer to as my burnout point on Persona 3. I love this game. But I've only beat it once. And I've played through up to the next full moon? Six times, I believe. Let's see. If I include my last video series... No, five times, sorry. It, no, wait, if you include my first playthrough. Yes, six times I have made it to... Ah, I might be miscounting. Either way. Six times I have made it to the next full moon boss, and then something just hits me, and I just burn out, and I don't want to play anymore. I just don't feel any desire to. And I usually take such a long break that I feel like it's... Um, better to just start a new game than it is to continue from where I left off. Which is com really sad, because... Sadly, that happened with my video series of this, too. I mean, this is my second attempt at Let's Playing This, although... With that, I may have stopped at my burnout point. That's not why I restarted the series, though. I restarted the series because I wanted to give it a higher quality than what I was giving it previously. Which, I do not regret even slightly, but... I really don't want that to happen with this playthrough. Oh yeah, Summer Break starts tomorrow. Wait. Junpei, the last time you tried to meet cuties at the beach was Operation Babe Hunt, and that resulted in me winning, so I completely agree with this. Let's do it again. Hmm. Yeah, they are all pretty attractive. Yeah, no kidding. Definitely the smartest girl in school. Makes sense. Yeah, but at the same time, I don't think she's dating anyone right now. Yeah, you would have to be really careful. But hey, we're actually able to spend time with Fuka now, so that's nice. Let's see, do we have anything during school today? I don't think we have any questions or any classroom. No, we do, actually. Wow. Oh god, not again. <sighs> okay, so yeah, I think I'll just con continue the conversation I was having previously about wanting to have this finished by the end of the year. There's actually a major reason for that is, admittedly, I am starting to feel the burnout on this game of it's not quite as fun as when I first started. However, that doesn't change the fact that I still thoroughly enjoy this game. I, I, Again, this was, for the longest time, my favorite game ever made. And it was only ever surpassed by Persona 4. So, yeah, that's... That doesn't come lightly. And I stick by that to this day. Although, I did recently finish with uh, Xenoblade Chronicles, which I think was... Admittedly, a better designed game, but... Not my style of game. So I acknowledge it as probably a better game, but... Not my style, but I still thoroughly love it. Either way, um, one of the major reasons why I want to finish by the end of the year is because I... I have some new ideas for the channel that I want to try out. You see, I've noticed I have sort of patterns with how I play throughout the year. Early fall is when I start to falter and I st 
start doing like every three days instead of daily. And then approaching winter is when I start to have crazy ideas about how to improve the channel that usually don't go well. <laughs> Admittedly, they usually don't, but at the same time, it's arguable whether, arguable whether or not those went well. As an example, last year my crazy ideas that I did, I did my Captain Toad Treasure Tracker Let's Play, which I somewhat regret doing. I did not enjoy it, but at the same time, it's not terrible. And I also did my Amiibo glitch video. I was actually thinking of doing some Amiibo content, and that happened to be the first thing that I caught. And once you know it, that video is the primary reason why I got up to as many subscribers as I have now. I went from about 100 up to nearly 600 now. And I'm still getting comments on that video to this day. So, yeah, it's by far my most popular video. It's just that... I get ideas around this time of the year that I usually end up not enjoying, but they're ideas that can grow my channel significantly. But I need to be careful not to get the mindset of being desperate to grow my channel, because I am ultimately doing this for fun. I'm not doing this to be a popular Let's Player. But at the same time, I would like to expand my audience, but I don't want to pander. That's probably the best way of saying it. I don't want to just do everything that's popular just to be able to grow popular. Because, okay, if I really want to, I could play the latest games that come out, I could be playing them on day one. I tend to pre-order games and get them on day one. I don't necessarily need to do Nintendo with that either, I could do all kinds of games like that. And I probably could manage to grow my channel much faster if I did that. But I don't enjoy doing that. Or at least, I haven't found a method of doing it that I enjoy. So I'm trying to find something a bit different. We're gonna stay awake, get our academics for this philosophy well, Philosopher's Stone talk and alchemy and all that. Admittedly, this is one of his conversations that I enjoy a bit more because I have a fascination with old alchemy. It's interesting, just early forms of chemistry, etc. Either way, um... Yeah, I... The point is, I still have ideas this year. I don't want to announce any of them because I don't want to get anyone excited over something I'm not sure I'm going to do. Because my ultimate decision with this one that I feel like is where I messed up in previous years is... I am not going to start on any new projects until I finish Persona 3. I am going to make sure I do that, because I feel like that's where my previous Persona 3 series started to fall apart. Oh! Hey, coach. Uh, I actually do know about the upcoming competition, but that's only because I played through this game previously. Mm-hmm. That'll be interesting. 27th to August 1st. Got it. So yeah, essentially, one week of our summer vacation is getting taken away for this. And it does eat up our entire day. Yeah, this is actually one of the hardest months for getting through Tartarus, if you ask me. I may have gotten through it on one night, and I feel, still feel like I was immensely lucky to have gotten through that easily. However, this is one of the few times when you have very few opportunities between the trip to Yakushima and that uh, training. I, well, I think you can go to Tartarus during that training, actually, but maybe not. I'm not sure. Either way, um, I just, I'm going to finish my thought here real quick before continuing. Um, yeah, I don't want to bring up any new ideas for what I can do on my channel because I don't want to disappoint anyone because... Oh, sorry, I had to <laughs> regain where I, what I was saying there. I... I'm going to finish this series first, before I start anything new, and I feel like that'll give me enough time to really sit down and think about it, because usually whenever I start a series on this channel, I think, just for a split second, I want to do this! Think about it for five minutes, yeah, that's a good idea, I'm gonna do it, upload a video, and then I end up regretting it later. Or, sometimes I don't regret it, but around this time of the year, I come up with crazy ideas that I might not like, and therefore I often end up regretting it. That's why I want to think it through this time. So I'm taking until I finish this series to truly think through the ideas that I have and make sure I don't do anything too hasty. So that's basically that thought. Moving on, Yukari, I actually have something to say to you. Oh, you have something to say to me too, okay. In private, okay. Yes, our charm is the reason why you do have to have max charm to initiate this conversation. This is the deadline for getting max charm, by the way. Should have mentioned that a bit earlier, but you should have max charm by now. It's not hard to max. 
Yes, let's go ahead to the rooftop. Hmm. I believe this heavily reflects on us talking in Yakushima. So that's what's triggered this whole thing to happen. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, don't be like that. Oh, that'd be rude. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, I definitely haven't forgotten, and I wouldn't say. Well, there were some things she said that were rude to Mitsuru and such, but. warranted. that she's opening up to us a bit. She's always been very closed off from everyone now that I think of it. And I don't really see her hanging out with anyone else, and even among us, though, she doesn't really open up much. Makes me feel kind of sad for Yukari. And yes, of course, this does begin a new social link of the Lovers Arcana. Now this does bring me to something that's a bit interesting with this Let's Play. I... I feel bad saying this, but I barely remember this social link because the last time I went through this social link was the first time I played through the game. That was the one time I finished it. And because of when my burnout point is, I rarely get past rank 1 or 2 on my own personal playthroughs. So I actually don't remember anything really about this particular social link. I remember enjoying it! but I remember almost none of the lines, so you might be actually seeing me react a bit differently with this particular one. And there's a few other social links like that as well. Ones that I'm very much looking forward to starting later. Yes, let's go home. I'm, I'm specifically looking forward to... There are three social links that I'm looking forward to most in this Let's Play, and Yukari's is one of them. Good evening. I'm glad to see that you're well. Incidentally, I see that they've again added a new ally to their ranks. Well, I suppose it's more of a pet than an ally. Makes no difference to me. It seems that what you told us before about their intentions was true. How lamentable. Now we have no choice but to intervene. It is up to each individual how he will use the strength granted him. But to erase the Dark Hour would be denying the very power they possess. We cannot tolerate that. Do whatever you want. Hold it! What are you gonna do? I know they asked you to come back. You're starting to piss me off. They're going down, you hear me? And if you're on their side, then you're going down too. Like I said before, it doesn't concern me. This actually brings me to something I've been meaning to talk about. Hello! Oh, never mind, getting interrupted. Hello, Ken! Yeah, uh, welcome. Yeah, uh, Ken is going to be living with us now. That's a thing. Uh, wait a minute. I still don't remember, and I... I don't think I ever remember this in any playthrough, and I don't remember it ever being brought up. Does Ken... 
No, he must know about everything that we're doing in the Dark Hour and all that, because he's... He knows about he has the potential. He stays awake during the Dark Hour. It seems a bit odd to... I don't know, I feel like we're supposed to be hiding some things from him because he's so young, but maybe that's just a sense that I always got that shouldn't, that isn't even close to the case, because it seems weird. Oh, here's Igis, our robot girl that we fight monsters with, just kind of sitting here. You'd think he'd react a bit weirdly to that, but eh, that's beside the point. Now, what I wanted to talk about is those people that are showing up every once in a while in the alleyway. Specifically... I want to talk about each of the individual members a bit. There's the girl in the white dress that we haven't actually... I don't think we've even seen what her name is yet. But the two I want to talk about are Takaya and Jin. Now... They are both very interesting characters, but specifically... Takaya, you can kind of see why people would like him. He's a bit of a... I don't even know how to describe him. Takaya is... Takaya. And he's a likable character and all, but the people, the person I see a lot of people react badly to, at least among the people that I know, is Jin. Jin generally gets a lot of hate from people I've seen that haven't played through the entire game. And understandably so, he's actually kind of dull early on. I want to assure anyone though that's kind of annoyed by him or anything, like, he seems really pretentious. The way he has his hair, the way he's carrying that ball thing for no apparent reason. And by the way, I don't think he gives a reason for carrying that thing, he just does it. And the way he talks, all of that, at least him being an annoying, pretentious character. He does develop though in this game, we do find out more about him, I want to assure people of that. I wouldn't say he's my favorite of the sort of antagonistic characters in this game, but I just want to, wanted to get that out. I actually like Jin as a character, despite a number of people I know not liking him. Either way, getting our double study session in tonight, and it doesn't matter whether we get tired tonight or not, as long as we get our academics, I'll be happy. Uh, yep, we're not going to be tired, and tomorrow is Sunday, which we will be spending with Maya. And it's almost our max rank with Maya now. Hard to believe, huh? Man, what are we going to be doing on Sundays after that? I don't actually remember. Well, you'll have to see. Yes, yeah, summer vacation begins today. However, we do not yet have our sports club training. I probably should have ended this off last night. However, if I'm going to achieve my goal of finishing by the end of the year, I might end up doing slightly longer episodes than usual. Usually I like to go for an average of 30 minutes, but I might bump that up to an average of 40 minutes. So... So far, I've seen people actually react nicely to that whenever I have a longer episode. I expect people to think, oh, this is a bit too long, but hey, the only comments I've seen about the length of the episode have been glad that it's a long episode. Either way, today, they're offering a brand purse and five medicinal power powder for 7,980 7, yen. I would gladly take this because brand purse, just something that's nice to have. Right, sold out for today. Just wanted to get that ordered. And that's why I was, of course, going over to TV instead of just telling you what it is. And message client is flashing, which means Maya is ready for a level up. We have the matching persona. Let's spend time with Maya. I hate that study is the default on that, because I never study at my desk in any playthrough, so... The only time having that as the default up there has been... Has affected the game in any way was when I've accidentally mashed and clicked on it. Uh-huh. This reminds me of when Star Wars Galaxies went down. I may not have been the deepest into that MMO, but I did thoroughly enjoy it, and it had actually a pretty tragic development process. It had, was so close to being one of the greatest MMOs of all time, but then a lot of, frankly, bullshit happened with the developers. They were re required to have certain things happen. They had a good community going, and then... People who had the money, it started making demands, they had to change the game, and the community got destroyed, it became a grind fest. It, it was sad to see, and it it was kind of heartbreaking to see that MMO finally break down. And that's Star Wars Galaxies, not the Old Republic one we have now. And by the way, it did get cancelled as Old Republic came out, which... I don't like the Old Republic as much as I like, like Galaxies back in the day, but that's beside the point. We have Innocent Sin Online going down now.
Yeah, I saw it. No, I'm not going to accept this. I've already seen one MMO that I thoroughly enjoyed die, I don't want to see another. Especially now that I have someone that I actually am spending time with on. I was actually more of a solo player in the other MMO I mentioned. Hmm. We can definitely still contact each other, it's the internet. And technically we see each other every day, at least every school day. Yeah. Don't worry about that. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, what are you planning? Uh, well, I wasn't suggesting you were going to do anything dangerous. Now you have me worried. Okay, sure, you do that. Wait, you've been saving all of our conversations that we've had so far? That's kind of terrifying, Maya. <laughs> well, if I do say so myself, I think I am actually rather average. Yeah, that does leave our relationship stronger, but that is actually rank 9 with Maya. The next time we talk to her will be the last time for a long time. Actually, technically it's not the next time we talk to her. The next time we talk to her, we're going to just be spending time with her, but you get the point. <sighs> yep, you go ahead and do that. <laughs> Good luck, Maya. Maya always stood out as a social link to me. She's one of the strange ones. Well, they're all pretty strange now that I say that. But she's very different from any social link in the entire Persona series as far as I know. Of course, again, I've never played Persona 1 and 2, and I don't intend to anytime soon. Especially not on this channel. Don't be asking for that because I try to avoid blind let's plays. Actually, that wouldn't be a bad idea if I were to do a blind one. At least have it be a series that I'd like. No, 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 that's a terrible idea, because if I want to play Persona, I want to do a 100% run and see all the social links. But yes, we are required to do training now. We are significantly faster than anyone else on the team. In fact, wow, we are running really fast, considering we did a full lap in the time it took me to say that. Up, dude? Uh, I guess, quick, because... It was only a few seconds that I saw of it. Eh, no sweat. Yep, okay, so that does confirm it. We can go to targets on these nights, so it's not too bad. They're not that mean. Either way, though, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Oh, Ken, you seem to be looking at... Hmm, let's see this. Uh-huh. Fair enough. Ken, what do you have to say about it? He seems to be a pretty big fan of Akihiko. Either way, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time we continue this game of Persona 3 FES. See you then.